Hello there, Paul Tranny here, and I'm excited to show you a brand new way to make dramatic edits in seconds and to experiment with new creative ideas. It's just a lot of fun. It is the brand new Neural Filters in Photoshop. So take an image, go to Filter, go down to Neural Filters right here, select that. There's gonna be a number of them in here, and we'll start with Style Transfer, just turning that on. So it basically, based on machine learning, understands what this photo is, what it actually is, and then actually will apply that style that I pick off to the side. So it does it pretty straightforward. It analyzes the actual photo. So a lot of machine learning going on here, and there's a number of styles that you could choose from. You can play with those settings. You could output it as a new layer like I'm doing right now, blend it with maybe the original, something kind of like that. It's kind of fun to work with. Let's move on to this use case, right? It's like, hey, you know what? I just want to colorize it. Go into neural filters rather than me doing all that work. We'll go into the beta filters. Colorize, there it is, click on that. No hands mode, it does it for me because it's trained on millions of images. It knows what grass looks like, what the sky looks like, all that fun stuff. But it also knows people. It's trained on millions of faces. So, um, it will actually give you a smart filter. So let's just go ahead and open up this neural filter. You will find it right in here, smart portrait. Just turn that on, right? And then from here, this is what you're gonna wanna do. So you're gonna wanna play with the facial age. Just, let's just crank that all the way up and uh, see what happens. There we go, actually that was really fast. By the way, I'm using an HP ZBook. Uh, it's running an NVIDIA RTX GPU. So it's built for these AI driven neural filters. That's why it's happening so fast, which makes me happy as I give myself more of a smile, inferring what my teeth would look like, right? That's great, right? Adjusting my head direction to make it a little bit more interesting. And let's actually uh, avert my gaze a little bit so you're looking kind of back at the camera is kind of the idea, something kind of like that. And again, it is a smart filter. That's what's happening. I can change it later on as well. It's a lot of fun. Check out the neural filters in Photoshop today. Thanks for watching.